Well, I hope everybody's having a good Friday. It's actually setting up to be a nice Friday evening after those storms passed through earlier this morning. We're having a nice evening here down here at the wheelhouse. This is sponsored by Do Good Credit Union. Had some kids playing out here earlier. We're looking at the nice sunset that we see here on the Natchez uh, River. Current temperature at 78 degrees, dew points at 73. This is one of our weather stations down here at Westbrook. Wind gusts got up to 23 and the high temperature once the storms moved out was at 83. And then uh, the rainfall that we had the last 24 hours got pretty close to an inch of rain. But if you actually put together the last two days, we did get an inch of rain the last 48 hours. Last six hours, you can see those storms pushing off to the east, got out of our area around 10, 11 o'clock this morning, and we had some sunshine start peeking through about 1 to 2 p.m. And you can see it all pushing off to the east, and this is uh, really kind of setting the stage for a very nice Friday. Only storms that we're seeing across the state of Texas are out here in central Texas and San Angelo. This is not going to be any issue for our area at all because this will go down into Austin and San Antonio later on tonight. Now the low or the temperatures that we'll be looking at on Saturday morning will be in the low 70s, 72 in Beaumont, 68 up in Shreveport, and the Saturday afternoon high temperatures that we'll have will be into the mid to upper 80s, 86 degrees here in Beaumont. Our next weather maker, we won't have to look too far away because we still have the flow out of the west that's going to be bringing in another short wave trough that's going to give us another series of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday and again on Sunday as well too. But if we look early next week, Tuesday, high pressure going to build in. This allows for all the storms to go further north into the plains in Oklahoma and this gives us the chance to warm up and start drying out because we definitely do need to dry it with how active it has been. Now taking a look Saturday morning flow out of the south. This is the Gulf of Mexico moisture. This has given us the moisture that we need for those showers and thunderstorms and notice along the I 10 corridor is when we start seeing those showers and thunderstorms start firing up in the Saturday afternoon hours and then it starts kind of dampering off as we get into Saturday night and then rinse and repeat again. Sunday, we've got more showers and thunderstorms in the area. This is going to be 40% coverage, just a little bit less of what we dealt with on Saturday, but the rain is still into our area. This is Cape. This is what gives us the energy and the fuel for these storms. It's not too impressive, but it is favorable for the storms that we will have on Saturday. So there definitely will be stunt thunderstorms on Saturday. Now the high temperatures the next five days will be into the mid to upper 80s. You can definitely tell when that high pressure ridge builds in because we start getting to that 90 degree mark. Low temperatures the next five days will be into the mid 70s and then starts getting up to the upper 70s. The rainfall outlook the next seven days. Next two days we're going to be dealing with rain, but as we get into Tuesday that high pressure takes over and the rain chances go down to zero. Low 70s expected for later on tonight into the lakes. Low 70s as well, 71 in China, 71 in Beaumont. Tomorrow mid 80s, upper 80s with 40% coverage and then down here into the triangle will be 60% coverage as well into the upper 80s. Seven, or the allergy report, not too bad. We still do have the mold, but as we look at our seven day forecast, Saturday and Sunday, we've got the rain. High pressure builds in on Monday, and this starts allowing us to dry out and warm up.